draw the pattern on the edges of our wine bottle holder, here's how you begin. Take a T-square that has your metric divisions on the side. You'll see that the wine bottle holder measures 26 millimeters in depth. Okay, so it's 26 millimeters. Find the center and make a mark. That's 13. From there, count over 5 and make a mark and count back five and make another mark. From each of those marks measure over two millimeters and a millimeter and a half. Two millimeters and a millimeter and a half. That's the initial markings for the edges of the wine bottle holder. Next I'll be using a flat line trammel set attached to my combination square to make the lines along the edges of the board. If you don't have a flat line trammel set, that's not a problem. What you'll do then is make these marks at another spot and use a straight edge to connect the dots. But I'm going to use this. It speeds things up. I'll first begin by setting, setting it to the center mark. And then it's just a matter of sliding sliding my wine bottle holder underneath the trammel set to make the mark. I'm going to do this around all the edges. Okay, so here I'll do it on the top edge as well. It's a little hard to stay on camera. And I'll do it down the second side in the same manner. And I'll repeat that same procedure for each of the remaining marks. I'll just make the adjustment on my trammel set and from there come in a little bit more and from there I'll make that same mark along the edge. With all the lines drawn around the edges, go to the top and take a flexible ruler, bend it around the curve on the top, and find the center. It'll be 40 millimeters from one edge to the center. Make a mark and then count off every 5 millimeters and make marks from there, 5 millimeters each direction. We'll divide up the top section into five millimeter sections when you use your T-square or combination square from the edge to draw those lines. Now you only need to draw the lines from the center three lines. Okay, the outer lines are for straight lines. This is for our pattern in the center. So the middle line and one each way is where you draw that cross line. So you're forming five millimeter squares across here. To lay out the sides, start at the top, count by fives, all the way down until you hit 27 centimeters. When you hit 27 centimeters, you can stop right there. Then take your T-square or combination square and make these lines across the center just like you did on the top. To finish laying out the side, when you get to the end at 27 centimeters, make a mark two millimeters from there and a millimeter and a half and draw those perpendicular lines all the way across the edge of your board to the outside lines. That'll finish the layout for each of the sides of our board. Then to finish laying out the top, I've sketched in some lines to show you the chips that we'll be removing. I've sketched in diagonal lines all the way across the board in both directions and I've made dots to show you clearly which chips we'll be, re 
we'll be removing. These are three corner chips on the top and the bottom in a positive diamond pattern. That means they're directly across from each other and we're leaving this diamond here proud on the surface. Okay, so we're taking out three corner chips directly across from each other and I'll be showing you how to do that here momentarily. You don't have to sketch in these lines, but if you're a beginning carver, it really helps you see which chips to remove and the cuts that you'll be taking. Okay, so I'll be sketching in some more of these lines on the side, and then I'll show you how to take out those chips in just a moment.